Hey, Mimi, that's how's it going? So today is a very fruitful day. I'm starting to, butterflies are still, still happy, um, but I let a lot go. I wanted to show you what happened today. So are you ready for this? Let's watch, I have all these plants here that attract butterflies. And of course, I have host plants. This is what's called a corky stem. It's, remember we were digging in the front yard before the lawn people came? Doesn't look very good, but it'll come back. And a lot of times when I walk the dog, I'll pick some from the yard. But we had, can you see all that? All right there? I'm gonna touch them because they're fresh. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. A one little twig there. Then over here, I have my brew plant. That's the stinky one. That it was in a, pre, a place that was not getting doing well, so I put it in this pot and moved it over here. And I watched the swallowtail lay eggs on this. And there's one there. There's one there. I, I counted four or five earlier, and I only see those two, so I wanted to share that with you. So again, remember, these are host plants. The butterfly lay their eggs on it, and then the caterpillar eat, 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 until they uh, cocoon up, or close, and then they eat clothes into butterflies. Oh, there's an egg up here, see? And the parsley is a host plant too. As you they love the dill the most, but I don't have any dill right now. I have very baby dill and they will destroy that. So, and so will our son. I just wanted to just show you um, all the eggs that we had going today. Oh, let's see what we got going on here. This is the pipe vine. This is the one that has the swallowtails, but they're polydomas. And remember, these are the ones that get like five or eight at a time. This plant is not doing so good. I, I fuss with it too much. Oh, there's one right there. Butterfly or a caterpillar. I'll move it into its cage here shortly. So, I was trying to get to train this plant so it grows up. And every time I move it, I crack it a little bit. So that's why I think these look like this. It's not getting the full. So I'm trying to gently not do anything with it. I still got to clip off it you know for to feed the caterpillars but it, it will survive it's a beast of a plant but i got to get through the butterfly season i don't see any eggs on this which is surprising because this this tree is very very busy but i'll make sure those caterpillars get into their cage and feed them feed them feed them feed them looks like no look see looks like things have been eaten on it And there's other things that nibble on it. Butterflies definitely, or the caterpillars definitely eat, eat on it. Usually I can tell when there's a caterpillar on it because it's got a hole in it. But you gotta remember the predators out here, that's why we keep it in the cages because the predators that will eat it are wasps. Wasps will pretty much just suck the caterpillar. Just and you have like just skin laying on it. And if I ever come across one, if your stomach can handle it, I will process it, but I take them in as soon as I can. See, there's some good leaves there that the butterflies will eat. See how it's wrapping itself around. I try to get it to wrap up there and I had it good, but it was growing inside. And so I brought it down and shouldn't have messed with it, but there you go. There you go, I did so. We did, so we'll have to just live with it, and it, it will survive. It just will not look pretty for a while, which is okay, which is okay, as long as it does its job and feeds the caterpillars. And these little ones are usually where you see the eggs, but not today. All right, so let me get these into the cage and feed them, because I usually feed them about five o'clock and it's a little bit after. So remember, be good, be kind, and don't let anybody tell you you're no one because you deserve to be loved. Kisses.